Well, if you think you've got a high electric bill, one Austin homeowner found a way to bring his cost down. Way down. Less than nothing. Tonight, an in-depth look at the eco-friendly adjustments he made and how you can apply them to your house for less money than you think. I was noticing my electric bill, and I said, I wonder how I can get that down. Gaines Bagby is a commercial realtor specializing in environmentally friendly buildings. Going way back to when I was a kid, I was in Cub Scouts. One of the things we did was we, uh, we made a solar oven. This We put aluminum foil in it, and when we put it out in the sun and faced it the right way, it actually, we put our hand in there, it was hot. And I, instantly, I was interested. That interest carried over to adulthood, into his very own home. Just like a lot of people, I'd been asking my wife and kids to, uh, to turn off the lights when they leave. I look around, and there are all these lights burning. I'm like, <laughs> again. Taking matters into his own hands, Gaines replaced lights in his home with LED versions. Six of these used less energy than just one conventional light bulb. Also added occupancy sensors for about 20 bucks. And so if people forget to turn off the lights, that's okay, I'm doing it for them. Taking things a step further, Gaines also installed solar panels. It's pumping out 1,152 watts right now. That sometimes produce more electricity than the house uses. When we flipped the power the first time, it went back the other way and that's the excitement in improving your home's energy efficiency it's also important to keep in mind the small things having a carafe on your coffee maker made of thermally insulated material as opposed to glass will also help you save on your electricity bill perhaps the most innovative add-on came when condensation dripping out of the attic air conditioner rusted the old backyard ac unit and Gaines called the appliance guy now tell me about how much water would come off of there uh, every day out of the condensate line. And he says, well, he said, I'd say probably four or five gallons a day. I said, four or five gallons a day? Wow, I could collect that water and we could water all our plants out on the porch. So that's exactly what he did, attaching simple PVC piping to a 55-gallon water drum that pumps straight into the garden hose. It's easy. It doesn't really change the way that we do things uh, or our standard of living or anything. We just pay less for it and we're easier on the environment. Pretty clever. Other easy ways to save energy and money include installing heavy curtains on windows that receive a lot of sun and being sure not to run refrigerators in places that aren't air conditions like your garage. For more tips on how to save money by making your home eco-friendly, we've posted an extended version of this story on KXAN.com. And if you can't afford solar panels or getting a water drum, one ways Bagby saves money is relatively cheap, about $30. When you're not home, this thermostat shuts off the air. When you return, the air comes back on. With the electricity you'll save, the thermostat can pay for itself in just a few months. Texas, of course, known for hot and cold weather. One way you can keep both out of the house, replacing traditional cotton candy type installation. Instead, you use foil insulation called a radiant barrier. This type of insulation is two or three times more effective than foam, and it'll save you money on your electric bill. 